How's everybody doing? Woo! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of your favorite vlog series, okay? This is the place where I capture all the comedy gigs, the good, the bad, and the handsome, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> so this week I was gigging in the Irish Centre in Liverpool. I didn't even know that we have an Irish Centre here, but it makes sense because there's a lot of Irish people in Liverpool and yes, we love them, okay? Guinness, go Guinness, let's let's drink beer. Anyway, so... <laughs> now, um, the gig was very fun, it was a great stage, it was a big venue, you know, it felt very professional and it was very well organised. I also want to give a special shout out to the people who recorded... You know, the gig and the people who had me over, now, then, comedy. Or was it then, now, comedy? I think it's now, then, comedy. I'm not sure. Okay, I need to do my homework before I start recording these videos. You know what I'm saying? But there's like a little watermark on my actual set. And for the first time ever, you will see the set in good quality. Because you're going to say, but Mike, are you filming out of a potato? It's always so bad. These vlogs, the quality is crap. But I'm broke, okay? I'm hustling. I'm climbing the comedy ladder, okay? And yeah, but it was a very fun gig. Now, I'm doing a lot of new material in this set. And, you know, I cannot show you that because it's still work in progress. And it's a little bit bumpy, you know what I'm saying? So I'll show you the good old classics, you know what I'm saying? Everybody wants to hear the classics from time to time. So I'll, I'll give you some bits that I... I've done ages ago and you probably haven't seen them so they're gonna be brand new for you you know what I'm saying so yeah and oh just let me tell you so the gig was very fun and when I finished I like a like a fella like an older fella came over Irish fella he was like I, I enjoyed your set and all that stuff and he was like where are you from are you from Spain because you know I had like few references when I was on stage and uh, I was like no no I'm from Bulgaria and the guy started speaking Bulgarian to me bro and I was like, Jesus Christ, what the hell, man? So he was like this 55-year-old Irish fella. He was speaking Serbian, Croatian, and Bulgarian. And I was like, what the hell, bro? So we spoke for 20 minutes, you know? <laughs> it turns out that he was like a soldier, you know, back in the day, in the 90s and stuff. So he spent a few years in that region. And that's how he knows the language. But Ron Trump says, how fucking weird that is, you know? Like, so, so unique. I was not expecting that, you know? Liverpool is an interesting place. Anyway, so... Well, I'm going to jump, you know, this is pre-recorded uh, after the gig, but let's just teleport ourselves to the Irish Center, and you can see some jokes, and I hope that you enjoyed this vlog, this little series. Let's go! Woo! And I said to her, you know what, I've been living in this country for almost 10 years now. I feel very integrated, I feel part of the culture, I feel British. And she said, no, you're not born here and you're not British enough. So I just said to her, no, you know what, I am British enough. When I go to a Chinese restaurant, I order chips. <laughs> What's more British than that? I hope and pray for a warm and sunny day. But if the temperature gets above 25 degrees, I complain as a motherfucker. <laughs> What's more British than that? When I was in Spain two summers ago, what's more British than that? When I was in Spain two summers ago, I spoke to all the locals only in English. And since nobody understood me, what did I do? Did I try to learn some Spanish? No, I just spoke English louder and slower. What's more British than that? Thank you guys. Enjoy the rest of the show. I 
needed more energy during the set. Ah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my God.